presentation of a dog who had an overdose of ivermectin. Um, he's neurologic, meaning he's tremoring. He's really kind of minimally responsive. He's blind. If you notice, if you look closely, his pupils are dilated and he's been tremoring all day. His owner um, was attempting to use a large animal or a horse dose of horse dewormer as prevention. We certainly don't recommend that for this reason. Those preventions are very concentrated and it is almost impossible to actually measure out and calculate an amount for dogs. This owner had used that before and didn't see any of these symptoms and the reality is that he got lucky. And so this dog, um, treatment wise or any of these dogs, really need extensive therapy with something called interlipids to try to bind any of the drug that's circulating. We try to control their tremors, IV fluids, as you can see they get really dry eyes and things because they're not blinking they may have seizures tremors and these symptoms can last days to weeks and it's not a guarantee that these dogs are going to recover and so you know at this point in time this dog is really starting to suffer and so um, the um, attending veterinarian on this case is discussing prognosis and whether or not these owners want to euthanize and to be honest at this point in time euthanasia may be the kindest option for this dog and but this is why we really it's important that you don't try to just dose medications yourself it is not saving you money to use horse tube dewormer furthermore an ivermectin compound is not an intestinal parasite prevention for these dogs um, it is simply heartworm prevention if that and so unfortunately this dog is is dealing with the consequences of this and so um Again, please do not use these types of preventions or attempt to use this kind of stuff in your dog because it's not effective and this can be the result. Okay, buddy. So as a follow-up for the video that you just saw regarding the ivermectin toxicity, um, certainly there's a couple things that I want to make sure are clear. One, ivermectin, whether it's given properly or not, is only a heartworm prevention in dogs. It is not going to treat any of the intestinal parasites. Hookworms, roundworms, and whipworms are the most common parasite issues. And from an intestinal parasite standpoint. And ivermectin is not protective against that. The other thing is it is very difficult to dose ivermectin properly, as you can see what just happened with this dog, to know that you're getting the right amount to actually be a preventative. And so this is, again, why we don't recommend dosing with this. Even if you look at the commercially available products that have ivermectin in them, they have another drug to act as an intestinal parasite prevention, something like pyrantal or other things. So again, please do not just use an ivermectin compound and think that you're act adequately protecting your animals because you're not. The other thing is, again, having a relationship with a veterinarian, making sure that you're actually getting a good parasite program and you are deworming appropriately. Best thing is to get a, either get stool samples and check your dogs. I understand if you have a kennel of dogs and you're wanting to you know, be as cost effective as possible, then grab some random stool samples from several dogs and have pull them and have them tested. If you have parasites, then obviously you know that you have a problem. Just because you're not seeing parasites in the stools does not mean there isn't an issue. That's a common question we get a lot. And the reality is that if you're seeing parasites, it's because they're dying or they have a huge burden. So again, not seeing parasites does not mean that you don't have a parasite issue. So using commercially available products or even speaking with their veterinarian, again, about having products compounded appropriately to try to save you money to treat your dogs is, is going to be the ideal thing. So again, ivermectin toxicities are real. You know, unfortunately, this dog passed away um, and, and his owners were well-intentioned. They were trying to do the right thing and try to save themselves some money. And unfortunately, it, it did none of those things. So again, horse dewormer or any of the other commercial products that you're going to get over the counter for cattle and other animals are not going to be safe and they're certainly not effective. Again, if you have any questions, please contact your veterinarian about what the appropriate products are for you to use for your pets.